Hi, Jim Sinesco for AFC International, and today I'm going to tell you about a new product. A uh, new product for us, it's been out for a little bit, but uh, I think it's a phenomenal product, and it's the Scott GT Fire Series. GT Fire Series is a leak detector, um, but I think it's a little bit more than just a leak detector. It can actually be used for confined space entry. Uh, if you've been used to other multi-gas sensor instruments, uh, the GT Fire combines leak detection, kind of like a Sensit. Um, or a leak cater from Bacharach and incorporates other sensors to make it a confined space type entry instrument as well. Um, but I think the, the biggest part about the GT Fire that I like about it is it, it, it's going to give you two separate sensors for your LEL determinations and then part per million for hydrocarbons. So it's going to use that traditional MOS sensor that a lot of companies use for leak detection. That would be like your Sensit, Sensit Golds, HXG2Ds. But it also incorporates a catalytic bead sensor, an LEL sensor, just like your, your Draeger's race systems and other ones out there. So that sensor, the secondary sensor, resides inside the instrument. So we have the MOS sensor here through a pumped device, pump system, and inside the instrument we have that catalytic bead. So what does that gain us? What does that catalytic bead give to us? Well, it expands the number of gases and correction factors in relative response of many, many other hydrocarbons where a traditional MOS sensor, like in a Sensit, just doesn't have very many um, correction factors because that sensor is designed for methane and l very light fuel gases, even maybe propane. Propane would be a, a four on the correction scale. Um, whereas a Ray Systems, Key Ray 3, Multi Ray, Drager Units, MSA, their catalytic bead sensors, we have hundreds of different correction factors we can incorporate. So, anyway, the instrument itself has a, an internal pump. We pull a sample through the inlet here, goes past our leak detector MOS sensor. And then it comes back down into the instrument. Now, from the display, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm going to kind of try to have uh, the cameraman zoom in a little bit here. We have part per million and then percent LEL. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to um, go ahead and give the unit some gas. I'm going to try to balance. This is 10% LEL methane. And what's kind of cool about that, it's got that tick rate, but it also has uh, a lights going on here. And the higher the light bands go higher, the higher the concentration of the gas. You will see over here, you see we're at 7% uh, LEL in climbing. It went from part per million up to percent LEL. 30 to 60 seconds is our T90 number. And what does that mean? It means it takes that much time for the sensors to respond to full amounts. We're getting up to eight. It should eventually get up to about nine, nine, ten. Now this unit wasn't calibrated just, just uh, today, so it might be a little off. But again, it is a detector, right? So we're getting a fairly good response. I take the gas off, and it starts to come back down six, five, four percent LEL. Then it drops into the part per million range. Very, very cool setup. Now this particular GT fire is called the GT53. Um, each individual number has a different sensor configuration you can get. For this one that we bought for our demo unit, the 53 denotes that I have a carbon monoxide sensor in it too. And that's right next to the, uh, to the LEL and part per million on this side over here. So here's your CO, here's your percent LEL and part per million. If I wanted to flip the unit, I can actually invert this display by hitting this invert button and it flips it upside down. So if I'm using it the other way, you know, I, I didn't want to just move, turn the instrument, I can hit that button and bring it back uh, and invert that screen. I can also go into the menu, pushing and holding the menu, and I can scroll down using these up and down buttons to the confined space entry hit the OK, and now my display looks like a traditional three gas instrument, or if you had a fourth sensor in your H2S, you'd have all four sensors in a quadrant. Now when we go to this, this confined space mode, or normal industrial mode, we do lose that leak detection and leak rate and part per million on the, on the uh, instrument. It's going to be using the uh, catalytic bead sensor primarily for its it's working for the LELs, detecting the LELs. But now if I go ahead and hook that up, 
you'll see it expanding up two, four, five on the LEL, six, seven, and it starts to climb up. And again, we're not going to hit 10 because we were a little off on our last test, but you get the idea. The response to it is very good. We do lose that PPM though, so that is one of the disadvantages, but you do have that traditional catalytic bead, which is then good for many, many different types of hydrocarbons. And that's what I like about this unit. One of the things I had issues with with Sensits is that the MOS sensor just wasn't geared for heavy hydrocarbons. For fire service, we're gonna be getting into many, many different types of combustible gases. So it's very important for us to have an LEL sensor that can handle different types of hydrocarbons other than the traditional methane natural gas calls or the propane calls. It could be gasoline, could be acetylene, could be solvents, MEK, acetone, lots of things. Lots of departments have rail and truck and interstates coming through. So it's, it's not absurd to think that you might get into some of those other situations where you're needing a combustible gas indicator and the GT Fire does that for me nicely. So it's going to be my favorite leak detector slash combination meter. I'm going to take the gas off right now. I'm going to go back into the leak detection mode. Now I get my tick right and I'm back at it. The CO sensor has a range between 0 and 2,000 parts per million. That's very, very good. A lot of gas detectors in its class can only go up to about 1,000. This goes up to 2,000. So it's going to give you a lot of, of good features that I, I think that, uh, that, that since it did have some good features, but it's going to combine them with other features of other portable instruments that I think it makes it a much better platform for fire service. Three C cells in the, in the handle here, just like the Sensit. Um, alkaline battery power on a C cell is going to operate this unit for uh, eight hours. It has a unique um, painting stick, a painting stick or a uh, broom handle adapter. So if I wanted to attach a, a broom handle, reach up and get up high into the into the ceiling where gas, lighter than air gases are going to be, I can do that. And that's kind of cool. If you look at painting sticks, you can get all different types. Some expand from like six feet up to 20 some feet. So now I can get up high and, and, and actually detect in a home or a residence. So I do like that part. It does have a metal locking um, screw here to keep the battery port locked down. Uh, it's a simple push of the button and slide out. That locking uh, nut keeps the handle from separating and coming out. So it's pretty cool. On the back side, you'll see the, the GMI uh, product label, even though it is a Scott product uh, with a logo on it. It is actually a GMI, General Monitors Instruments Company out of UK that 3M had purchased. So you do have that, and you do have a UL approval on it. So it's classified Class 1, Div 1, C and D. So it's going to be methane, solvents, butane, propane, straight-chained hydrocarbons. Um, would not be approved for acetylene and hydrogen, um, but... Uh, you know, it is going to be for everything else. Exit port is right here. And the other thing I like about it, it has a nice, beefy rubber protective boot. And I like the color. It's black and red, man. What, what, what firefighter wouldn't like black and red? So uh, from those uh, standpoints, I do like it. One other thing, you can shut that pump down and um, operate the unit in a diffusion mode. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now, but all you would do if you did go into diffusion mode is unscrew this black cap and then this would open up um, the diffusion port for the MOS sensor for your leak detection. So it can be run without the pump. However, I like the pump. I like to be where the gas is and adding tubing and, and probes and stuff like that to it um, gives me the ability to be where the gas is. Um, if you have any questions on this unit, price points are um, going to be less than Sensit Golds, uh, a little bit more than a Q-Ray 3 or a Drager unit. Um, so you have a combination unit here, probably about eleven, twelve, hundred dollars. Um, we include training and support, all the support that you get from AFC that you've known to love. We have that on this. And um, uh, so, if you have any questions, give us a call. 800-952-3293. Um, give us a shot. Look us on the website, www.afcintl.com. Look for us on Facebook and YouTube. So this video, you should be seeing us on, on YouTube. So hope you like what you see. Give us a call. We thank you very much for your business.